hello everyone welcome to this video so this video is a follow-up video of the JSON server tutorials we, we started right um, so in the first video in case you've not watched it it is right here so you can go watch that before this one but in this video we are going to basically see how we use JSON server in a real front-end project using react in the first video we talked about how json server is very useful for uh, testing purposes uh, so it helps you create a fake backend or a fake rest api endpoints that you can use to test your front-end application so you can use to test any backend functionalities at all i have an example project here so we are going to build more like a blog application a simple blog application Right, so we're going to stick to the same examples we used uh, for the first tutorial studies for posts and comments right. and this time we are going to use it in an actual project so let me take you through the code um, I mean the front-end side of things first before we go to the server side of things all right so here I have created a new react project with the Vite, and I have set up uh, some routing as well so you can see I'm using React Router DOM here and there are three pages that I have right? and uh, you can see I have the home page, I have post and then the post ID page that is uh, when you're viewing a single post and here is where you can create a post right? so these are pages you can see home post and then add post these are pages I have inside this folder here right? and uh, from the name you could see this is for adding posts so there's going to be a form here for adding uh, posts and home is where we display all the posts basically using a postcard and uh, here is where we view a single post when I start the application right, so I can do npm run dev just for you to see the UI the application has started on this spot so let's just open it uh, so you can see that um, yeah we this is this is how the UI looks like and uh, it says all post we don't see anything here because we've not actually started a server and if you go to create post here you can create a new post using this form uh, so let me go back uh, and then let me go back to VS code actually let me increase it a bit this is our client side and you could see that here i have server folder here as well so this is where we have the json server setup all right and uh, i'm going to do cd server just to go into that folder and yeah um if you watched that previous video uh, everything we have here we talked about it in in the first video right so uh, you can see i have a db folder here and inside the db folder i have post.json i have comments.json and so post.json contains a um, few posts uh, it's about 10 posts or so and then we have some comments for the post as well and so that is going to be my db files and uh, here i have routes.json right so i have slash api and then the wildcard here so routing everything that comes after slash api slash to uh, the resources we have in our db just like we talked about and here is where we have the server scripts all right so we talked about this one we t i mean we I explained every line to you so in case you don't understand anything here just go and watch the first video but here we are reading the db files from the folder and then the file name right so you can see uh, there's probably the changes we have in this particular file i mean at first in the first example we tried in the first video um it was just it was just in the same file so we didn't have this one but then this time i have put it in a folder uh, that's why we have the extra db folder here before we have the file name here so that is that is everything that's just all right and inside the server folder I can just do uh, npm run start and the reason why I'm doing npm run start is inside my package.json 
I have the start script which runs node server.js right so I can just do npm run start to start my server alright so my server is basically started and it's running on port 3000 so let's go back to the home page now you could see that I'm using a use effect here to fetch some posts right, and you can see I am making a request to HTTP localhost slash 3000 and I have slash API slash post uh, and that is coming from uh, I mean this is the pattern of my endpoint and because I have custom routes set up here it is going to still match and get me the correct uh, data all my URLs would have the slash API and then slash whatever I want to get all right, so yeah here I am getting all the posts from slash API slash posts right? and as you can see I do await the response dot JSON and here I am sorting it using the created at date right? and I am setting the post like just adding all the posts to the post state I have here right? and you can see I'm also handling some loading um, states here as well this is where I look through all the posts and then pass a single post to the postcard and then the postcard is responsible for displaying all the posts right so you see the post image and the person the author of the of the post we also have the title of the post the content of the post for the card we have the trimmed version and then we also have the dates that the post was made so let's actually go back to the UI since we have our server running and uh, see if we can fetch some data yeah there you go so we have some posts loaded now and you can see this is coming from JSON server the avatar is not actually coming I'm not sure why but yeah the title the description and then the dates and when I click on one of the posts for example here I get the details of the post right and uh, you could see down here I have the comments as well right so these are the comments for this particular post let's let's actually go back if I choose a different post like this see there are no comments for this post uh, let's pick one with comments yeah there is this comment for this post and you see that there is a form here to add comments as well I'm going to try that in a bit right um, yeah so some posts have more than one comment yeah you can see uh, so we are fetching comments for a particular post let me show you the code side of things for that as well so here a single post you could see that I am using use params because we get the post and then the post ID here right so we get a post ID from params and that is what we are using so we have slash API slash post and then we pass the post ID here and uh, that is going to get us a single post All right, so we set that post here doing set post and uh, we also handle the loading and then error states as well and um, yeah basically we display that post here and you could see that we have the comments component here as well so let me open that and uh, here I think one of the one of the things I didn't mention in the first video is uh, how we do filtering with uh, JSON server uh, so this is an example of how we filter so you can see we are not fetching all the comments we are fetching only the comments that are related to a particular post and that is why we pass the post ID here as a query param uh, so this is how you do filtering so this is going to fetch all comments with a post ID passed here nice and um, apart from that we also have a function to handle adding of the comment and you can see that the method is post right so we create a new comment for this particular post and uh, let's test that out as well so here let's add a new comment for this one I'm going to say the author is Mr. Shard and um, the comment is a uh, nice post All right, so I'm gonna click add and get see 
immediately we get that comment here as well even if i refresh it i have that comment here All right nice uh and uh yeah just to show you the database from json server right for the comments you would see that we have that uh, uh i mean comments not post let's go here yeah you could see that this is the last comment we added uh, from mr shard nice post that is the post id it belongs to uh, very very cool all right so we could also create a post by going here all right so let's just say um new posts uh test content image url so let's just use some random image url all right and then the altar let me just use my name again i like my name all right i'll click on add post and there you go all right so this is the new post to be created all right i think i know why my avatars are not displaying i think my internet is not connected so let me just refresh it again yeah yeah it shows up now all right nice all right so this is the post and you could see that there is no comment for this post so be the first to add a comment i can say mr shot again and then say thanks for sharing all right add and you can see i have one comment for this post let's go back here all right nice so um that says basically it right um if i go to db and then post yeah you can see my new post and then the content all right and then the comments as well so we just hit the endpoints right from our front end or from our client side and gets us the data as as we need yeah hopefully you found it you found it useful thank you for watching and i am going to see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe if you've not and uh, leave your comments below